Well, we got married in Canada, but when we got back to the States, our marriage was not recognized. Mm-hmm. So Lambda Legal, uh, well, our county executive at the time, Andy Spano, uh, issued an, uh, an executive order honoring marriages performed in other jurisdictions. And then some residents of New Rochelle sued Andy Spano for giving rights and privileges to people that were not married in the United States. So Lambda Legal asked us to join in a legal uh, challenge to that. And so we became part of a case called Godfrey v. Spano. And uh, we went through three Three years years. of fighting on the lower court, the uh, appellate, and then to New York's high court. And then we were successful in November of 2009. So um, our marriage was one of the first or the first to be recognized uh, by a legal declaration uh, before we actually got marriage uh, legally uh, declared by the Supreme Court in the United States. And, and that case is referenced in Edie Windsor's uh, DOMA case because Edie got married in Canada and we helped get her to Canada. We connected her with a friend of ours and she able to arrange her marriage and but, and her then the opposition decided that um her marriage shouldn't be recognized because it was a canadian marriage we had already pr- uh, proven that that was a qualifying factor because marriages have always been recognized in the united states if someone was married in canada and therefore her marriage was recognized because it was performed in a legal jurisdiction as our our case court case proved Yeah, so we set the precedent.